Thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. I'm Louis Skibo. I'm getting this rev ready. This is the 800 I took out of it. You know what? I've been looking at this motor and it looks pretty good. I think this thing wasn't rebuilt too long ago. The crank is nice and tight on it. But since I'm putting the 700 out of the ZX chassis in it, I got to get the stator and the pickups out to put in the 700 motor so I have RER. So today's mission, I'm going to pop this apart, take the stator and the pickups out. Now I've taken a bunch of motors apart before and all indications are sort of leading to tell me this one hasn't seen a whole lot of use. So that's a good thing and we're going to be using this for another build shortly. Anyway, I need to get this out here now. What size socket is that? Works. These? Okay, now there are these two pickups right here that I have to put in the 700. The white wire one goes on the bottom. I'm going to use this when I want to go back and see where I have to put that. I don't want to mess that up because maybe it'll go forward when it's supposed to go reverse. Anyway, I want to make sure I put it in the right place. So I've popped the 700 out of the old ZX chassis. I've got to take that stator out and the pickups out so I can swap everything from the 800 into here so I have RER and it'll just hook up to that rev chassis. Basically, removal process is the same as it was in the 800. Now there's some controversy about using an air impact on your crank, whether it be pulling the clutch off or working on this side. Now the only time I've heard it's not a good thing to do is on the internet. And we know how things start on the internet. I've seen a lot of crews, a lot of companies, a lot of dealers, engine guys, crank guys, they all use the air ratchet on it. And as far as I'm concerned, it's better than using a puller and wrapping on it with a hammer. But you know what? Sometimes we just have to use both. We use what we have at our disposal. You're going to have to uh, help me out here. Hey? Yep. Do I look like your grease monkey? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You need to hold down on there. Whoa, that is tight. That was tight. I had an issue when I was on the trail in Gas Bay with this sled. Now my pull start blew apart and there were plastic shards all inside the magneto housing and I didn't have the ability to pull it apart there and check it out. It was running really rough, it was only running on one cylinder and I could see on my Digitron the exhaust gas temps out either side of the, uh, out of each cylinder and one was just low, low, low and eventually it was starting to pick up and I could feel more power after about five minutes I had full power but Intermittently, I'd lose power on one cylinder. I don't know what it was. I figure it was the stator. I can see all kinds of bits and pieces of the pull start in through here. But one thing I just did, and don't do it, I can't believe I did it. I screwed the puller in too far and I screwed up this stator. So this is junk, unfortunately. My mistake, learn from my mistakes. In my haste, now, I didn't know if this case was going to have holes in it or any kind of bracket or mounting or drilled and tapped for the second pickup. And the holes are there, so all we have to do is tap them out and we're good to go. So I'll be able to put that second pickup in. We'll have RER. I've got to tap that case out so it'll accept that second pickup. And this tap here is an M6 by 1. And you know what? It's really tight in there. I can't get the little T-handle on. This little 730 seconds socket fits that perfectly and I just tested it on one of the existing threaded holes and it's the one so we're good to go now if we look up here this is the hole in the casting and I'm going to just tap this out going as straight as he can. through there. You. You. There are differences between this case, which is the 700, and the 800 Rotax case. There's a little notch indented in the upper half of the case. And on the 800, it extends a little higher, right up to about there, and it just leaves room for a little screw that's on the back of the stator. So I'm going to have to just trim that out a little bit, try to do that without wrecking this motor. but. Um, after that, it should fit in there, just no problem. I can move this back and forth like I could on the 800. I just want to make sure nothing is grabbing. That's perfect. When you're bolting that stator on, you have to use a Loctite. And especially on the 800, because I believe the case is actually drilled right through. And if these screws start to come out, then it will actually start to lean itself out. And you don't want that. Then your rotor, or your, then your stator also starts to move, and then you chew it up. And we know what happens when you chew up a stator, because I just did it. It's garbage.
Now that we have our stator in place, I need to install these pickups. Just checking them out. I remember that the one with the white wire went on the bottom. And I'm going to clean up this pickup a little bit because there's a little bit of rust on it. Don't know if that will really make a difference or not, but you know what? I don't like rust on it. Take the washer off. Make sure there are no other washers on here because that would make a mess. I've got everything buckled in there. Got my Loctite on my Allen headed screws. My pickups are in. Now we're just gonna check for some clearance. Make sure that everything is all nice and tight in here. That's good. Just wanna make sure that really comes in contact with those pickups. Looks good. All right. I don't like that. You have to watch what you do when you crisscross these or mismatch them because some years they're just a little taller than others and they're going to bind up when you uh, put your starter assembly on. But I'm going to use this off the 800. It was electric start and it looks like it had almost no use. A comment from Ben Hancock. You have great videos, helps me pass a lot of time at work. Just one question, would you recommend the strengthening braces on the newer sleds as well? I just got a 2013 Summit and have been thinking about if I need to put them on or not, thanks. Yes, I would put bracing on it. They have the grip and rip, check into it. It could save your sled. Keely had an issue where he hit a rock, twisted the whole A-arm, but everything stayed nice and straight. So I do recommend the grip and rip. Thanks for contacting me there, Ben. Well, there we go. Everything's installed. My two pickups for reverse. I've got the 800 stator in here and the 700 motor. I use the 800 flywheel on it, or what you might call the rotor. So all we have to do now is put it in the sled when everything's back together. Try it out. You think it's going to work? Stay tuned to find out. Thanks for watching Power Mods. Make sure you join us on Facebook. Subscribe. Give me a big old thumbs up. And keep coming back because we got to get this rev together. Thanks for watching.